Interesting. I mean, we have noticed that in the background, there's these symbols that we see a lot of places. Also, I'm curious. Let's see what that does. Okay. Oh, it freezes the head. Okay, so now we can go into this door in the back of his head. Ooh, and we found an anti-cube. This is what the anti-cubes look like. Uh, okay, we need to do some invisible platforming here. Rotate again up to here. I appreciate the detail with the rain. Nice, we got another anti-cube. So I think this path is pretty much... Oh, and a teleporter. Uh, I think we'll take that probably. Yeah, so it looks like this path is fully explored. So it seems like the skulls follow you. Similar to the owls, but the owls couldn't be rotated. Which is interesting. Oop. Oh, did my connection drop and restart again? Seems like it has. Okay, well... Gomez, watch out. Oh yeah, what's this to the left here? Black holes. Black holes are bad. Space can only be folded so many times before it rips. I mean, I'm so curious to know. Okay, so it is in fact just a black hole that will suck you in. That makes things a little more inconvenient, I suppose. Uh, let's check out this owl again. I don't remember where that door was. I think it's this door. So we'll, we'll check this out. It's not this door. I don't know. I should have looked inside before I went through. <clears throat> Is there anything else in this area? No, no. We, we've gotten everything there. We need more treasure maps, I think, to figure out... There's also this language type thing with uh, the boxes and lines that is sometimes spoken with by the three or four dimensional creatures. Um, uh, yes, I believe this is the... We don't eat shit and die here. Yes, I believe this is the owl door. So we will check that out. So, the owl, that's the area we came through. The owl, like the skull, follows me. Yeah, owls, I mean, owls don't really creep me out. I actually like owls quite a bit. I guess because the head follows you around, it's a little weird. So what are we missing here? If I spin really, really fast... Doesn't do it. It's just obnoxious to look at. <laughs> uh... Huh. It does go somewhere, though. Is what's so interesting. There's, I mean, there's a little block here. I could jump. <clears throat> what would this puzzle be trying to tell me? The owl's eyes, I don't know. His arms are the little shapes, also the three-dimensional L pieces, kind of. I'm not sure, though. <laughs> Gomez has a good sleeping animation, that's cute. If... So we can actually stand on top of the owl here. 
and he spin or it spins with us. There's nothing else in the sky though. So usually when there's an island you can go to, you can see it from the same perspective that the door is at. But right now we can only see the island we came in through. I feel like there's going to be a way to type in things similar to Tunic. Spoilers, if you've played Tunic. But I don't know yet. I don't even have a lead here, so I think I'm just going to leave. We saw Owl somewhere else, so maybe maybe there'll be hints somewhere. Oh yeah, escape. the controls are weird. Enter is to pause into menu for this. Okay, where do we want to go? Let us go... We don't have all the treasure chests yet, so I think we'll try to go back here. Which I thought was the same room as here, but it's definitely not. And there's a secret here, so let's... make our way back, I think. Which I believe is here. Yeah. Oh yeah, this is a loading zone. So this leads to this weird room that you go in and go out of and you switch areas, which is interesting. So now we're in this area as opposed to uh, this area. Uh, and there's apparently a secret here. I don't know if I fully explored here or not. These seem significant in some way. He says, or it says something about this. I wonder what this is. I also do. Can I interact with you? I think this is how we came in. No. This is not how we came in. That leads to the treasure chest room, which has been thoroughly explored. It's this golden one back here. So what... What am I, what am I doing? It's all about perspective, like literally. I guess that's the whole shtick. I don't know if we've climbed up here though. Oh, we definitely have not. I love lo I love this though. I love the bouncy mushrooms, I must say. I am a big fan. I think we have to climb around the edge. Maybe not though. Well, let's stand here, because we're safe here. Come on, drop. Okay. So, we gotta make our way up here. We can do the rotate in midair thing. I'm just worried about falling, I guess. Even though I really shouldn't be, because there's no repercussions. So if we jump and rotate... Yep. Whew. <laughs> little, little snake guy. Okay, okay, so there's, I mean, it's not really a secret. Okay, so we found the next area. In this section, at least. Oh, we got a loading zone. So is this the, so there's still a secret down here. Has to probably do with those pillars. And the, that's right, there's an owl statue. I don't know. We'll explore around here. Shit, I didn't mean to go through. <laughs> now we got another loading screen. Uh, let's go back. On. Let's wait for our hyper cube. It's not really a hyper cube. It, it's a hyper... Looks like a hexagon. So we got more of this language that we can't read. And we have one of these things, which is... This language might tell us... Uh-uh. I wonder what this is. Yes, I also wonder what this is. This looks like some language. It was what a creature was... Uh, a 4D creature thing we saw earlier was speaking in. I don't know if I should be trying to translate it right now. There's a chest up there. And I 
wonder if there's a way to get to that chest. Perhaps more invisible platforms? <laughs> it just jumps to our death. I'm wondering if these birds will land on platforms that are invisible. Maybe these can do something 